What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and it looks like Team Fake is where things are headed right now. We have some more confirmation with that whole Nintendo NX controller shit that's been happening over the past few days and we have valid confirmation from the fucking creator himself that this is fake. And I mean this is legit man. This is on some Artsy Omni 2.0 type shit right here. Big props to that guy but let's check out exactly what the hell is going on. Obviously, this is a lot of information to take in, but it's fake. It, it, it's all fake at the end of the day. This dude went in. Some kind of crazy CGI shader type program that he's using. I don't think it's Cinema 4D. I think this is some next level shit. Let's take a look at exactly what the Techno Buffalo article is saying about this. Everything will be linked in the description so you can check it out for yourself. But it says, well, here we go. The first of two recent Nintendo NX controllers that recently leaked is now confirmed fake and this comes from the leaker himself. The video you see at the head of the post is rife with jokes and the video footage of the fake leaker making the controller itself. The redditor Idris2dev posted the leak and this comes from the YouTuber D2dev. So someone made this shit, man. Like, when you see it in action, your fucking jaw is gonna drop. I already watched it one time beforehand. So, I mean, yo, guys, can you, I mean, I said from the beginning, dog, I'm 80% fake, 20% real, and I let you guys know this specifically because, I mean, it seemed like there was a lot that was believable about it, considering that it looked physically real, but at the same time, why is there no video footage? Why aren't there more pictures? If I had a camera, and no matter what kind of a human being I was, if I was inside of the office where I saw the NX controller, I would have been taking at least a million pictures, dog. We only get three, and then the white one that we saw in the beginning? Mm-mm, not buying it. Anyways, for reference, here are the originals. We're going to take a look at the video itself right here. This is uploaded by the guy who made this specifically himself. As you can see, it already has 8,316 views. This nigga's a fucking beast. <laughs> Let's take a look. Let's check this out, man. Hold on. Let's start it up. This dude is a freaking fucking monster, yo. This guy got everywhere. <laughs> He's a fucking idiot, yo. <laughs> but as you can see, this is a render. Is this Cinema 4D? I don't, I can't even tell. Maybe, I think it's fucking Photoshop. But look at that shit, dude. All the angles that we saw that controller in from the whole fake leak thing, you can see them right there. The table, it was all made with goddamn, look at this. This is fucking Photoshop, bro. This boy's on his Omni shit, man. So props to this man. Good show. <laughs> Good show. I didn't believe them. I mean, I was, I was team fake 80%, man, okay? Just letting you guys know. Y'all already know the numbers. The thing is, and by the way, this will be linked in the description so you guys can check it out, of course, obviously. The thing is, however, is that at one point, someone apparently on Reddit had linked the picture of the black one, of the black little um, controller, uh, to an office that's, I think, run by Ubisoft, called Massive. I'm not too sure exactly what the details are with that, but they linked it to an office that was related to Ubisoft in Sweden. And people were saying that the tree inside of the picture of the black controller matched the tree in the front of that office building. And when I had seen that on Twitter, I admit, I lost my mind, and I was saying to everybody, basically, yo, someone disprove this right now. Please, for, for my fucking sanity, and for everyone else who doesn't want this to be real, disprove it right now. I even posted the pictures which kind of linked the two pictures together, um, well, well, rather linked the picture of the um, controller with the tree in the background to the picture of Massive Entertainment with the tree in the front. But I mean, it got so ridiculous because you could basically link this picture to any goddamn office that has a tree in front or any house. So the memes just went crazy on Neil Goff and there was a bunch of people linking the whole NX to the tree thing. There was even a picture of Detective Pikachu running away with a, with a Orogoto running after him trying to grab him. And they said, this is the guy trying to run away from the leaks. It was hilarious overall. But... I said at the end of the day, I I believe that this is fake because of Liam Robertson, aka Dr. Cupcakes on Twitter. He said specifically, a Nintendo rep that he talked to said this is not real at all. So if Liam says it's true, then I believe him. Maybe there's been a couple of things that he's been wrong about in the past, but for the majority of all the information that this guy gets, it's on point. So I mean, Liam Robertson said nope, so I said no as well too. But I did lose my mind at one point. I said if anyone debunks this, if anyone legit debunks this, and please inform me, my man, because I'm about to fly off the tracks. Thankfully, the debunking happened, and I had also made a claim to the guy who made this saying, there is a source where the pictures are coming from, and whoever's creating these, give us solid proof that this is truly real, or get the fuck, get the fuck out. He obviously 
didn't you know maybe he didn't see that specifically but he definitely revealed himself and let himself be known so that is all well and good we're still on the Nintendo NX hype train. This is not going to be the controller. He shook the internet up for a little bit, but things are still on track. Tatsumi knows what he's doing, all right? I trust that boy. And by the way, guys, big thank you as well, too, for reaching over 500 sales on the Akai Riot swimsuit Red Robin shirt. I appreciate it. I, I was pretty crazy that we reached that goal so quickly. Um, well, we didn't reach it super quickly, but eventually we reached it, and now we're past it with 517 shirts sold. Thank you all so much. Um, me and Akai do split the money, so eventually I'm going to use the money to buy a new capture card, and I have to figure out exactly who's going to make some that will be reliable and not break on me or have any problems or issues. It, Loopy's apparently coming back to town from what Beryl is saying on Twitter. So if Loopy's really going to be back in business, then I'll buy from that boy. I just want something that's going to work for me be stable anyways all this will be in the description and i'll talk to you guys later on let me know are you happy that this thing is proven fake i'm sure most of you are there were a couple of comments that said that they did like the design or that they were saying maybe the design is just for one type of controller and that there could be another controller implemented with the nx and this is just one of many but at least we know for a fact that this one is not legit so that opens up the possibilities of so many things in the future there was even one person that posted a picture of a screen which had rising buttons in it but i figure that technology seems like it would be kind of expensive and would it be something that nintendo would really want to implement within their de device i mean i would hope so but as of right now we still know absolutely nothing about the nx let's get into it man i'll talk to you dudes in the next video take care of yourselves and of course as usual please have yourself a damn good one